Welcome to DrayTech Australia's presentation on Vigor IPVVX 2820 configuration. The topic we will look at in this presentation is the registration of extensions on the Vigor IPVX 2820. Up to 50 phone extensions are supported and these can include up to 48 IP phones as well as one analog and one ISDN phone. We will use the example shown here to illustrate the steps involved in setting up the phone extensions. We will configure four extensions. These are extension 223 for Joseph who is connecting remotely over the internet. Extension 222 for Stephen who has an IP phone. Extension 101 for Jackie who is using a soft phone application on his laptop. Extension 221 for Mandy, who has an analog phone. We also have a PSDN line connected to the IPPBX. The first step in adding the extension numbers to the IPPBX is to go to the IPPBX extension profile configuration menu. Now we enter the relevant details for each extension. We will now set up the extension for Jackie. Select the first available index, now select enable and now enter the extension number 101 and the name Jackie. Enter the password for the IP phone, now enter the email address to send uh, the voicemail messages to and the voicemail password. Now select details for the answer mode which will determine how incoming calls will be handled and click OK when finished. Repeat the process for each extension. After you have finished adding all the extensions you should have the table as shown here. The next step after completing the IPPVX configuration is to configure the IP phones. Here we use the Vigaphone 350 to use extension number 222. We start by first of all logging into the Vigaphone 350. We enter the username and password to log in. We go to SIP accounts and select the first index. And now we start to configure, we select enable and enter the extension number and the name to display and the password. Since the phone is directly connected to the IP PBX LAN then the IP address 192.168.1.1 must be set as the registration server, proxy server and realm address. Now we enter the voicemail password and click OK when finished. And you should see uh, the screen as shown here. The last step is to check that the phone extensions have been registered successfully and are connected to the IP PBX. You should see this status as online as shown here if the phones have registered successfully. If you require further information on the Draytech products, please contact Draytech Australia. Thanks for watching and hope to catch up with you in our next episode.